TV! Talk to me about oil pumps. The, um, most people know about your billet oil pumps, but let's have a look at the standard one here. Yeah, so this is actually the one out of the engine. We've put that through the tank, given a clean up. It's come up, come up quite trick. Yep. You can see that it's actually how good the engine was. It's only got a few tiny little marks here, which you can you can barely grip with your nail. Yep. Um, besides that, the, the pump housing is actually really nice. Because those two engines kind of look like a bit of a mar and par engine out of just an everyday boring FG. Well, for the people that don't know, why I find this impressive and I get excited about this is because this is pre-filter. So yep. whatever's going through the engine pre-filter will end up in here and, and basically the most of the damage that you'll see through here will tell you how well the engine's been looked after. Yeah. Um, the fact that it looks so good tells me that, you know, they actually cared about their car. So. And I mean, these two engines, from memory, I think one had 240 and one had 260,000 kilometres on it. So that's pretty... And I mean, you say pre-filtered, it's, it's still got like the mesh in the pickup, but that's about it, isn't oh, it? Oh, but so. it's very coarse. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's basically that's a very coarse gauze mesh and um, it will still allow products, you know, half a mil in, uh, half a mil in diameter through. So yeah. it's, it's still very coarse. A enough can get through um, that it will gouge up the housing quite badly. I've seen it much worse than this. Yeah, so, and that's the thing. I mean, so now, most of the time, a lot in the past, people have been putting uh, new oil pump gears in there. Like, we don't have gears here at the moment, but um, I can throw a picture in, but gears and then a billet backing plate. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and often you'll get people trying to get in here and port it all out. Um, we don't really necessarily agree with that. And simply, if you look at this ridge here, and then measure it through this section here, the pump housing gets very thin. Um, the material this is made of is just a cast aluminum with, with a very low tensile strength as well. So once you get in here and you start porting all your ridges out, the housing gets so thin, it's also bolted at this point too, which causes a moment of inertia and that housing just wants to flex and walk. On this side of the pump, again near this thin section here, you've also got your pivot stud which runs your timing chain off it. So. There's a hell of a lot going on right in this section of the pump, um, and you really don't want to make that wall too thin. If you do the pump housing split, and I think a lot of people have seen videos online from pump housing split in Kia. Um, mm. The other thing too, people jump in here and they, they modify all this, um, this, this um, bypass section as well. We don't do that purely because the wall section here that guides the little check valve that runs up and down is only uh, it's only a quarter on each side there. So once you start getting it in here and, and, and modifying too much, the little check valve can, can twist. Um, and once it does twist and jam in here with the housing flex, um, you'll have your check valve remaining open and you'll lose all oil pressure to, um, entirely. Okay, so we're not using this one, even though a lot no, of people and, are. And that's, that's still fine to use. So if you, would, if you had you know, a, a good street combo, um, that really you hadn't you hadn't gone and, and, and messed with your bearings and you haven't opened up the clearances and you haven't played with it too much and it's or if you had that you've reset it all back to OEM um, this pump's more than fine you put a set of gears in it again when you do your gears set your backlash measure all your clearances which a lot of people don't do they just throw them in um, that can cause issues as well so it's 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 hard for people because I suppose they'll buy a set of gears online or off eBay or somewhere and they'll They'll go to marry it up, and if it doesn't quite mesh right, it's hard to return, it's hard to get back onto the person, so they just throw in what they've got. Yep. Um, but sometimes, more than likely, we find that that's the biggest issue with, with low oil pressure problems um, after people have gone and, and then modified their own oil pump. So, what's the alternative? Well, we... I mean, I know, but yeah. We've had these pumps out for a long time now. They sell really well. They're in a lot of cars. I did actually notice before that you said aluminum. Is this from like dealing with all your American customers now? Um, We're blaming Richard Holdner for that. Quite, quite possibly. I do watch. Um, I do watch a bit of YouTube when I finally make it home at night. House is dark and quiet, and I um, I jump on the couch and catch up on on the local goss. So aluminium or aluminium for all the people that think that it's funny how us <laughs> Australians say it. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of words that filter through. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so our pump um, is a little bit. Actually, in essence, you look at that um, form-wise, they look they look quite similar. The inlet, outlet, um, pump, the gear location, the rotor location, the relief lo ro location, they're all pretty much in the same spot. There's a couple little tweaks we've made to the pump, which is just um, transitioning the inlet flow a little bit differently. Um, the diameters of the inlet, our pump housing runs a lot more diameter through here, um, and the material is 
far superior to that material anyway. So, that, so the fact that it's thicker and it's a better material um, doesn't allow the pump housing to flex at all. Oh, and then you said that, and that's billet too, that's cast, so. Yeah, it's a full yeah. billet pump. Um, yeah. We've had people in the past say, oh, that's a cast pump, this, that, right, right, but you just have to have a look at all the machining mm. marks right all over the whole pump. Yep. Just to understand that, yep, it's full of machining, t machining marks, they're all tool marks. Um, the whole pump's actually a billet pump. And um, we won't give it away, but um, there has been somebody that's ripped off a couple of your pumps too, but you won't mention what they've done because... No, good you know, luck to because, them. Good luck to them because yeah. you can tell what the difference is and they can't. So Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. And I've got a, well, all our customers, you know, um, when they go through engine builds and they do refreshes and whatnot, they all send the pumps back to us and we um, we overhaul the pumps. It's, it's part of our service and, and yep. send them back out and get them back and on the road again serial numbers too as well so yeah once we do them we engrave a serial number in here and um and a date usually an order number or whatnot so we know who's who's bought the pump yep. we know the full history of them uh, when they come in and out yep our relief is modified our um, diameters in here our gear set which i don't have which i don't really want to put on screen anyway that's that's all different that's modified um Mark's going to have a special black edition of this pump on his car, which is our drag spec one. Um, we've only really sell them to the guys that, um, that are at the top end and going to squeeze them. Um, and just yeah. for those people that want to know who Mark is, that's me, the guy on the headphones. Yes. Because I just call myself Boxer because it's easier. Anyway, back to this, yep. So yeah, that's it. That's our pump. And that's what you'll be running on your car.